Many people believe that deep space is the coldest place in the universe, but in atomic physics laboratories across the world, physicists routinely achieve temperatures which are much, much lower. Well, here we are in the um, Fenor Bose Einstein Condensate Laboratory at Monash University. And uh, uh, my name's Lincoln Turner, and this is Chris Helmerson. And Chris, we're looking pretty cold here, um, but it's actually 22 degrees uh, in the lab. Well, what's with the hat? Uh, well, I thought it was a cold laboratory, so I thought I'd come prepare. But... <laughs> it's actually not too bad in here. No, um, no, it's not. Actually, where the cold matter is, is actually in the vacuum chamber here. Um, right. So we've got some really, really cold atoms in here. Um, they're sitting just in the middle of a glass box right in the middle of this, um, in this apparatus that you're seeing here today. Um, and I guess what we're going to talk about is how do we get things that are cold? And when I say cold, I mean really cold. Not zero degrees Celsius, not minus 40, not liquid nitrogen, but one millionth of one degree above absolute zero. Whoa, whoa, whoa that's cold. <laughs> that's cold? Yeah. So how do we get there, Chris? Well, it's basically a two-step process to get to those ultra-cold temperatures. The first step involves something called laser cooling. And laser cooling is exactly what it sounds like. You use lasers to cool atoms to very low temperatures. Now some of you might think, well, lasers, they just heat things. But the key to understanding how laser cooling works is to know, understand that light comes in little packets of energy called photons. And photons, in addition to carrying energy, also carry momentum. Right. And so really what you want to do is transfer that energy or the momentum of the photon to the atoms to cool them to very low temperatures. And here's an example. Consider this a photon and I throw it at an atom and of course the atom bounces back due to recoil. Now in the case of a cricket ball, uh, maybe a fast bowler might throw it at maybe 150 kilometers per hour which is like 42 meters per second and you're actually not going to feel that very much. But Photons, actually, interacting with atoms can transfer quite a big force. And by scattering many, or throwing many, many photons at atoms, you can actually stop them from moving and trap them. Right, and we do that right here, actually. We have a whole lot of atoms that are flying, starting way up this end, near where Chris is, and flying in a jet down a couple of meters to this end of the apparatus here, where we slow them down and stop them. And we make that headwind of light. Okay, we're serving those, we're, we're bowling those cricket balls um, those photons um, out of a laser beam right here and up into the end of the apparatus so that all of those atoms coming this way are seeing a headwind of light. Um, we to take a normal atom that starts off at that end at a speed of around a thousand kilometers an hour, a sort of a jet plane speed that corresponds to a little bit above room temperature and to bring it down to actually stop it in the middle here we have to hit it with about 50,000 um, about 50,000 photons. Now, that's a bit like uh, stopping a good-sized truck by bowling cricket balls at it. Um, single cricket ball hitting a truck isn't going to slow it down much if it started at 60 kilometers an hour, say. But um, by the time you've bowled 50,000 at it, you will, have, you will uh, have stopped the truck and presumably got a fairly <coughs> sore arm at the same time. And once you uh, cool the atoms down, you get them to a temperature that's on the order of a millionth of a degree above absolute zero. So that's very, very cold. We can, we can show you actually, Chris, if I just interrupt oh, you there, yeah, we can okay. show you some atoms at, at this temperature or actually at the, at the laser cooling temperature around of 100 millionths of a degree above absolute zero here and it looks like a, a white blob. Um, and that's because that's not just one atom, that's around a billion atoms, okay? A billion atoms isn't very many, there are more atoms in a bacterium than a billion. Um, but that's a billion atoms in a cloud that's about um, half a centimetre across. And because we're pelting photons at them all the time to keep them slow and keep them cold, they're, knocking, they're scattering those photons off in all directions, just like that cricket ball bounced off me. Um, some of those photons end up in the camera, and we can see that, that atom cloud there. Now that's cold, but it's still about a thousand times hotter than what we actually want to get it to. 